Okay, so now you see that I've got all my uh, coils mounted down and uh, looks pretty good. So um, I've tightened them all down, pushed all my tabs in, so they're all one level. Um, if I put a board on it, I don't get a lot of wiggle. Pump it down a bit. There we go. So now we're pretty even. So uh, there's not too much sticking up, uh, and that's what uh, what you want. So you want a nice even level surface. So this is going to be our bottom side of the top plate and uh, just so everybody understands what's going on here I'm going to set this one aside for half a sec pull in my bottom plate now we've got coil 1A and coil 1B now we know that all of our coil 1's must fire north at the same time so if we pretend this is our magnet and I have it in this position so of course north is facing that also north on this end for my uh, second north coil that means on top here now I've got a, a south and a south that means in my four magnet configuration they're going to be 90 degrees off for my other north so the other north will be here and here so if you now have a north here and here, that means when this top plate comes into play, well, right now that wouldn't work because uh, you'd be firing 1C as a south. So what has to happen, I'm going to set this little guy down here, um, and let's pretend actually that we need that north over there, that 90 degrees out, right? That's where we, that's where it's going to be because we know that these two are south facing upward here and north pointing down so this being a mirror image of course coil one and coil one are in the same place now we need to get coil one over to there so what we need to do is we need to do a 90 degree shift and that's how simple it was people okay that's 90 degree shift now this coil is now hitting the north so my 1C and my 1D are now north as well. So this is how this is going to have to be mounted with our magnets going around in the middle. So our magnetic plate will be in the middle spinning and this will be sitting 90 degrees out of phase. You will still wire, let me get this out of the way, you'll still be wiring everything in the same direction. but just so we have it so it's going to be a total of 12 coils they're 80 turns each 18, eight, uh, 18 gauge wire uh, basic layout is thus although I've made my coils not round but uh, a little bit different shape uh, that's up to you so understand that the uh, stator plate the one stator plate must be 90 degrees out of phase so all coil number ones are north at the same time. So that's the important part, guys. Once we have that, then uh, everything else will be easy. So this will be a star configuration. You can leave your end wires open and uh, uh, configure it however you like. Uh, but because I know what, what I want, so I'm going to uh, basically set a star configuration and these guys here um, coil one two and three on the bottom plate that's one a two uh, a and three a they will get their bottom portion of the coil tied together and i'm going to do that nice and neatly in the middle here and uh, that'll work with that and then of course the top of coil one a has to go to the bottom of coil one b top of coil 2A goes to the bottom of coil 2B. 3A goes to the top, goes to the bottom of 3B. Now, top of th uh, 1B, 2B, and 3B are going to be long leads, and they will go up to your next plate, or your top plate, on the, on the side, so it's not interfering with magnetic rotor. And uh, from there, then, we slide that over a bit. 
So the top of coil 1B goes to the bottom of coil 1C. Top of 1C goes to the bottom of coil 1D. 1D then becomes your output. That is one of your three phases then. And you do the same thing with your twos, your coil number twos, and your coil number threes. So these will become your outputs. This will be the bottom end. If you so desire, like I said, on the bottom plate, you can leave these out and you can use different configurations if you want to play later. But the easiest is going to be the star configuration with a straight output of a three phase output and uh, it'll make your life a little easier. Uh, at least, uh, hopefully it'll make mine. And I'm going to keep on building. I'll get my uh, magnets mounted in my plate, cut it out a little bit better, make it nice and pretty. And uh, by the way, the reason I'm doing this on plywood is uh, well, uh, a bunch of different reasons. I, I don't really want to muck around with uh, any uh, resin pouring right now, um, although I, I'd like to do that. It's not uh, not in the books. Uh, since I live in an apartment, I can't really uh, uh, have too many odorous items, <laughs> and uh, that'll make uh, the, the neighbors a little bit unhappy. So <laughs> that's what I'm doing, uh, mounting everything on uh, wood here. We can always remount these things later on in life, and uh, you know, once you have it, set out here, you know, actually have it soldered together, it's fairly easy to uh, clip the ties and, and actually just move it into a casting plate and go from there. So, and uh, hopefully everybody got everything as far as the phasing. So again, we'll recoup on that. Star configuration. Bottom of the coils are always, uh, the coils are all wound in the same direction. So I use the bottom of the coils. The first set of coils will be in the star configuration. The bottoms will get tied together. Then the tops of those coils will go to the bottoms of the next number one coils. So we go from number one A uh, top to number one B bottom. Number one B output or top will go to number one C on your top plate on the bottom. Okay, so as we keep going, then 1C goes to 1D bottom. So 1C top goes to 1D bottom. And then 1D top is then your output for your phase. Okay, so that should be good, and I'm going to shut the camera off for a while, and uh, we'll get at it later again. Thanks.